I see. So if you get caught up in a rope, you shouldn't save at all. Or at least it's like deleting the option to save because you can only now do it once before you die. Interesting. That was very fun to watch. I, uh... I wish there was an option to delete a save, though. I, we don't need these anymore. Well, we don't need that one. This one is actually just before killing Tanaka. Skip the intro? Yes. Thank you. I don't need a man cutting off my legs and, and then being surprised that I still get out of here. You failed and became one of those creatures. Yeah, one of these... It looks like she's becoming like the long creature with like the long hands. So I think uh, that's what she was becoming. And uh, she's now nesting in the ground. Was it all just a dream? Even your sister? Uh, it said something with the wheelchair. I found a booby trap. A makeshift trap made from a case of a landmine, while not very damaging, can be used to stun opponents momentarily. Uh, useful? We can get uh, key, the second key, I think, with it. The eagle key, not second key. They're not numbered. Kill Tanaka again out of the sight. I think that ship has sailed. I am not a violent man. I only answer violence with violence. You just saved? Saved what? <sighs> I killed a cult girl. Guys, stop with the violence. Uh, hello, gentlemen. <laughs> Alright, I'm following the journalist. Can I kill her? What is it? Why is it? Why am I can kill I can kill her? Nice to meet you. Likewise, not if you now if you'd excuse me, I've spent enough time loitering around. Uh where are you going? I'd rather not make acquaintances right now. I've spent enough time loitering around. Are you, were you heading to the city? That's right. And I'm and I'm going alone, if that's what you were about to ask. I'll just go ahead of you, so it feels like we're going together. Sorry, my back hurts from sitting. There you go. I'll play for like a few seconds like this. Uh, Wild Daga. I don't know what he does. I know uh, a nettle is uh, used for poisoning. So perhaps we want to find nettles. They are the long green plants found some red herbs there's a lot of red red herbs here also the booby trap again for the eagle key i see a herb right behind this tree a dark root i think these are used to make something uh Some sort of a mixture, red and d dark blue root. What does it? I don't want to create it, but I think that's poison. Maybe potent poison. Who knows? Stop following me. You're following me, journalist. 
Okay, we gotta be careful around here. I know there is a guy with a, a rifle just going around shooting things. Maybe if you shoot, if I turn around and let it hit my wheelchair, maybe I'll be safe. What is it? What are you? What were you doing? I rather not make acquaintances. That's fine. That's fine. Same here. Actually, if I follow her, I pro. Oh, there he is. You know what? I'm following this uh, journalist. There is so much nature here. Isn't it pretty? What is it? What are you doing? What brings you here? I'm a journalist. I smell a scoop. I don't think anyone visits these parts unless they have to. Nice to meet you. If you'd excuse me, I've spent enough time loitering around. You're standing still! She's standing still, not doing a damn thing. Am I crazy to think that when she's standing still, I should talk to her? Oh! I cannot climb stairs with a wheelchair. No, no, don't tell me that I have to take off my wheelchair. Is that why- is that why you wanted me to play as the wheelchair girl? I think there- there is probably a quick button to take off the wheelchair. I think the game said so. No? Okay. I noticed that the wheelchair was uh, an equipable item, so I kind of knew that you can take it off. Oh, they don't hear a damn thing. I'm sneaky. A uh, person alive. You can already hear death rattle coming from him. Nah, I'm good. Light bonfire soothes you despite the horroring horrors waiting you outside. Press C to get off and on the wheelchair. Yeah, I, I saw that. I just uh, missed the, the thin. I saw there was a thin in the beginning and I missed it. Thank you for the for telling me. Because otherwise I would have kept switching. A reek of death. They don't hear me coming. Oh, this is a very fun mechanic. Sneak mode? Attack mode. Sneak. Sneak. Attack. Sneak. Attack. Sneak. Attack. I cannot believe it. I don't want to ram into her when I'm going down. There you go. Pick up traps? That's possible? No way that's possible. I'm gonna get uh, trapped myself. Yeah, that's not possible. Nah, I'm already up here. I thought I'm gonna hit in her, but okay. There is a latch here. Is this uh, the dungeon? Oh no, it is the dungeon. <gasps> this is where the clown took me. Is he a part of these nerds? 
Moon nerds, I call these. They look at the moon all night and they are nerds. So I think that's self-explanatory. He won't notice the... Me. Okay, he did notice me. We're gonna loot absolutely everything. This guy is blocking my path. Can I... Oh, I can't. It's this guy. The dark corner of the unwanted and the undesired, where they dumped the disease, stillborn, and now the moon scorched. Welcome, oh, oh fresh one. Welcome to the shit pit of Preval. Nice decoration you have here. Under the ever-watching eye of the dead. I want more, though. I want the one who swiped... Half the old town down, the woodsman. Then I want the one who condemned us down here. I want the filthy priest. I'll see what I can do. Show no remorse. Let their blood flow. I'm a person in a wheelchair. What the hell am I going to do to a woodsman with a genitalia that can attack? His genitalia latches to your face and uh, stuns you. A uh, wall of severed heads. The heads seem to be in varying states of rot. The earliest had looked like several weeks old, while the most recent one seemed to be freshly cut. Did he do that? How did he get all these heads? I recognized uh, the head of Lord Buckman. And that's about it. There is a mummy head, a villager head. Lord Buckman is the one right here in front of me. Is the one to my right. And yeah, that's about it. Can I read any of the newspapers and figure out what the heck? No. What's it gonna be? It is Tails. Give it to me. Small things amulet. Uh, it gives me five agility. A crudely shaped amulet representing a rat deity. The peculiar thing is imbued with prayers of the ratkin that grant its wearer a small boost in agility to help evade possible dangers. I can probably talk to the rat lady with that. Or maybe she's gonna wiggle on her finger and kill me anyway. dodged him quite well. The journalist is here. Hello. It's you. Just what the hell is going on in this town? Uh, what do you mean? Wh what? You must have seen the shape these slums are in. The shape the people are in. This scoop just became a lot bigger. I have to be careful what I wish for in the future. Attack her. What do we do now? What do you know about this scoop? I have a connection to different organizations and groups. One of the resistance groups against the Berwyn army tipped me that something was about to go down here in Preval. Apparently there is a very specific reason why Ber Berman army occupied this area. I wasn't informed about anything else really. I can't believe I wasn't even warned about this place. That guy will have a hell to pay once I get back to civilization. Where were you heading to the city? I was, but I'm not sure what to do now. My guess is that the city won't be that much better either. What do we do now? We don't do anything. I work alone. I have a scoop to investigate. Now the stakes just got higher. That's all. Uh. Uh. You're still just focused on that? Hey, I wouldn't get anything done if I ran back home 
my tail between legs every every time things escalated. This is nothing. I've seen way worse. There is a bug here, and he's dead. It won't be safe alone. Are you worried about me or yourself? I'm sorry, but you'd probably be a lot safer if you just returned to the train. That is correct, but I would also lose the game. What do we do now? Alrighty then. Well, I try to get her on my side. I'm sure there is a way, but... The only way to get the journal is with a scoop. You can hear... You can see footprints on the thick layer of dust. Is that a sign that someone is here? Do I have anything stronger than a knife? The answer is no. Oh, this uh, room with the focus on the television. A bloody bowl, typically typical to every television room. Very typical. Don't worry about me. I'm just going through your home. Alright, let's loot. And then we'll go get the eagle key. It's heads. Can you trap the guys? I got an ar artificial soul. What the heck is that? Is that something I can equip? There are rumors that Berman experimented with creating artificial souls to power their unholy rituals. If this truly is one of those, it could be used to channel otherworldly more efficiently. Well, I'm not exactly a magician. I'm gonna equip it anyway. Huh. Huh. <laughs> hmm. I'm gonna uh, rest. Oh, god damn it. Uh, I'm ready to defend myself wait he attacks right away god damn it um. if I hit his hand he doesn't fall off if I guard and then rev up his hands fall off I'm gonna guard here you go Oh wait, I thought double revving up would uh, give me an extra attack. Oh, this is really, really bad. Well, he's dead. They changed that. Only three revs for the extra attack now. Should have known. Um, can I craft some healing for me? The answer is yes.
This is more than I need. Anyway. I'll save, but... Um, mm, never mind, I'll just save. I have no time to waste with you. Save. I don't have any souls, do I? No. Hmm. If I... Nah, I'm just gonna get the eagle key. It's tails. I call it Grimoires. I'll take the severed hand. Whoops. Fell off my chair. Um, what did I want to do? I wanted to read a book. Does that give me anything? No. Okay. I uh, made it all the way. This nearly costed me my life. Okay. Let's uh, check if there is some supplies around here. And then uh, we'll go get the the eagle key. I think if you go for the eagle key, like first thing, you get uh, uh, another party member. Whoa, he's quick. Why was he so quick just then? I, get, I guess as soon as you go through the screen, he runs there, so you have to get out of there. Wait, hold on. There is a barrel there. Got the barrel. Got some paprika. Hello again. What? How's life? Life is... Okay. Oh, I forgot about the dogs. Shit. I'm cornered. I could have used a tree, but I tried to take it a long way around to see if I can lure the other dog. Last time they both uh, rounded from both corners. That did not work out in my favor, though. Uh, I am gonna fight. So, if I protect three times, I could kill the dog. Uh, I don't know if I have rotten meat, though. Let's try and talk. I do have rotten meat. And then... I think we just attack it. He's not dead. He's dead now. Uh, I tried to go to the left as soon as the game started. Mm. Do I have another instance of rotten meat? I do. And then rev up twice, maybe they'll increase the damage. It did! We got out of this situation unscathed. Hello, G Garcia. It's Yar. 
A fear and hunger fan, I see. Luckily, there is no stairs in this area, so I think we're, we're going to be good. Empty chest. Why'd you lock a chest if it's empty? Found some glass shards. I can probably... Wh what can I do with glass shards, actually? A fistful of glass shards. Better handle them with care so you won't cut yourself. Wait, I can make somebody blind? Oh. Maybe we can throw it at like at the big enemy and then stab him to death because he's blind. I'm in a wheelchair, but I'm thinking very dark thoughts. I thought the soldier is going to be like uh, super tough, but no, it's this wheelchair gal. Uh, where am I? What, what is this place? I don't remember this section. Duct tape. You know what I'm thinking? I, I'm thinking like activating the machine is the same thing as like... If you remember in the original Fear and Hunger, there was like pulsating masses around the game. So it's like to strain those. To get to like the end game, you had to do that. You had to cut all the masses. So maybe it's similar by activating all the machines. That's my line of thinking anyway. I got some rifle ammo. Some 303 ammo. Hello, Brujita. This game could be a horror genre. I mean, it is. That's why I played it back then. Oh, it was open from this side. Oh, so I can take a safer route back. Where was the other uh, gas canister? Is it always switching places? These are metal doors, so even if we, if, even if I do have a partner, I don't think we break those. So over here is the elevator. I guess one of these side room has. I already went to the. What would it be? The east side. Oh, there it is. Wait, they looted this area. Yeah, I just missed it. My bad. Wheelchair Chan is pretty cute. Her name is Silva. And I called her Silva because I didn't want to name her Saliva. Because I started writing Saliva and then I was like, Ew, that's pretty gross. And you're calling her wheelchair chain. You know what? Fuck it. No wheelchair for you. 
She's gonna die. Okay, big guy. What what is it gonna be? Do I even attempt at using a booby trap on this guy? We could try if it makes you feel any better. Choke point. So if he goes through here, he is he coming? Oh! Now two things: uh, place the booby trap and run away. Hey, he just stepped on it like it's nothing. It's okay. I'll just take the other route. <laughs> there was another route this whole time. And I kept trying to loop him around that area. A foresight on my predictions. Ha! Huh. Big brain? I think not. It was like a small... A small fart. He just like stepped on it like it was sand. It was a booby trap. Okay. There is a way to make him not run after you. But don't tell the developer that. So... You have to go like this. I think we did it. I don't think he's... My bad. I think uh, he's chasing. There was statics. So, soldier. Okay, he, he's not chasing me. I did do it correctly. Don't tell the developer. Don't you dare. Okay, that was step one. Step two is getting the hell out of here. Maybe reading a book about Sylvian will help me. The God of Love. A strong occult book written in the medieval times by Enki and Kalyan. The chapter explained the older god Sylvian. I remember her being a lot um, more human, not a tentacle. Sylvian, the goddess of love, lust and creation. She created men and women at the dawn of time. From the very first moment, she loved her children dearly. Over time, her love blossomed into a more obsessive form, and she would take a more hands-on approach in controlling the direction her children took in life, always having their best interests in mind, of course. Once she realized her children would never return the same amount of affection back to her, her love took a more twisted form. Sylvan forced mankind more to her liking and closer to her own image with her gift to humans, the love magic, otherwise known as the flower magic. For a brief moment in history, mankind fell into a craze of fleshly, fleshly delights as a synchronized mass, sea of naked people in the middle of coitus would pulsate and waste their days. Sylvian is often associated with Gorogoroth, the god of destruction, and their offspring Vinushka, Vinuska, the god of something. The mark of Sylvian raises the magical evasion of its wielder. Magical evasion? All right. There is no stairs here. Wait, what's what's with that? Oh. It's just uh there is a hole where the white dot is. There's not actually anything in there. So there is no stairs, there is only ladders in here, so I will be fine for the most part. Again, this is the machine I turned on. You have no idea what you're looking at, whatever it is. It is pulsating erratically. So in the beginning, in the intro, in the beginning, we saw that they want us to make cubes. Not sure how we make it, really, but we are making cubes. 
and the Bourbon army wants control of these cubes. So I'm wondering if the Bourbon army is somehow related to this place. Is this place controlled by the Bourbon army? Or maybe this place is out of reach for the Bourbon army and they're trying to learn how to make cubes, like in the intro. Who knows? Certainly not me. Oh no, there was an entrance there! Loot before you run! I actually managed to break his ankle with a wheelchair. Okay. Was that the hard part? Maybe. I think. So, according to the... We're in Tunnel 7. And we were just in a elevator shaft, if my memory serves me correctly. So, down and left should be the way out. Funny chairs, very funny. It's okay, I think we're getting out. Yeah. I got the key and I got out. Oh, hello, you made it out alive. I'm gonna try and play nice with him because I don't want him to fight me. Oh wait, I didn't have to say anything. I thought I'm supposed to say things. I forgot, he's narcissistic. He just talks to himself. Key one down. Let's go and get the other key. Silva is ill from hunger. That's a, no good. Got a good old meat pie. This is actually a lot cleaner than the, the run I had with the soldier. I wonder why is that? I'll take a back alley approach. Maybe we can talk to rats just like, uh, you know, Enki can talk to cockroaches. What do I do about the pig? The pig is pretty quick. Do I have a lucky coin? I do. We we could deal with the pig. Oh. Yeah, he's a really quick. I, I, I tried to run. Brave Rave. What was that? What was that? What was that? Got it. Only the vial. Pesticide is leaking from the canister. <laughs> He's coughing blood. No, I want to loot him. No, damn it. I, I, I don't even get to loot my prize. No, nah, I'm looting him. Whether if you like it or not. He has nothing. Okay. I remember the demo this area specifically had enemies. I think he removed them. Oh! Shit. I think I ran our deal with a man. The woman is uh, stronger. She's dual wielding knives. The man is just holding a pipe. I've been noticed. Ah, oh, shit. I thought he, he's not looking. Uh, well, there is no point in blocking anymore. I'm just gonna cut off his arm. I'm gonna guard. Can I just stab him to death? That did not work. Hmm. 
I just wanted to stab him to death. You are not winning this. I am gonna stab you to death. It would have been a lot easier to go for his legs. But I wanted to test how much health he has. And he has a lot. Okay, lesson learned. One lesson at a time. Actually, this blue vial is very... Nice. So I'm gonna not use it. I'm gonna instead use my herbs. Mixed herbs. There, there it is. Uh, we're back to full health. Just like that. Man, having health is so nice. It was so miserable playing as the ex-soldier and just having to constantly be on the lookout for health. Uh, it's Tails. Are you playing on the hardest difficulty of Fear and Hunger? No. We're playing on just Fear and Hunger mode, which is normal mode, I, I guess. I haven't found any weapon better than a knife. Found a pipe, but I need something to smoke with. Lucky coin? Don't mind if I do. Lucky coins are very nice here. Um, very good against the pig man. Whee! This will never get old. By the way, did I pick up the hacksaw? I might get the leg infection. Who knows? Oh no. Gotta cut off my leg now. Is there some rotten meat here? No. Let's go get the other key and we're good. And remember, do not piece off do not piece off the um white priest. There is a towering waiter greeting here. Good afternoon, miss. From what I understand, you are a newcomer to this town. We just got a new mayor to the old town. Yeah, yeah. So I like the mayor's uh, place because there is a lot of books to read. And you know, books is knowledge. Oh, I got quite a few things. 17th century poetry is left here open. The language has changed a great deal since then, and you don't bother seeing the effort right now. All right. I would wish uh, the game wouldn't be constantly stuttering, because it's something from the previous game too. I don't know if it's like a RPG engine maker deal, or it's a issue from the previous game that carried over. Uh... Hmm. Let's see. I should read. There was something here that I wanted to read. Combat manual, that's what I wanted. A beginner's guide to survival in combat on a battlefield. I'm sure this would be super helpful. The manual depicts basics of survival in a close combat situation. The following techniques, uh, teachings, can be applied both on a battlefield and in your everyday life. Lesson 1. Strategic dismemberment. Take out different limbs of the enemy to best subdue their attacks. If the enemy is carrying a weapon, it might be best to deal with that first. Going straight for the head might seem tempting, but attacking such a small body part in the heat of the battle might prove out to be difficult. 
Taking out legs might rock the balance of the enemy and make them uh, vulnerable for the for headshots. Lesson 2. Rev up. As the fight goes on, you will get more revved up naturally. As you can see from your uh, Illuminati sign, points increase in every turn. Uh, use one or two points to boost your strength, or three to add additional attack to your string. There are also different skills that might require rev points to be used. This is mentioned in the skill description. Lesson 3. Devastating attacks. Sometimes the enemy might be preparing for a devastating attack. These attacks cause massive damage or other status alignment that prove out to be insufferable. Most of the time, these attacks are telegraphed in some way in some way on the previous turn. You can either dodge them by guarding or you can face the coin of judgment. The coin of judgment is your last chance in dodging the attack. You can uh, affect your chances of survival by throwing a lucky coin into the mix by holding shift. Well, choose either heads or tails. Ultimately, your, fel your fate will be chosen by the higher powers, of course. There is a lot more to combat, but hopefully these lessons will aid you in getting started. So, uh, <laughs> it's just funny that one of the last sentences uh, of the combat survival manual manuals is, it's up to the higher powers. But uh, I guess uh, it's good for people who are new to Fear and Hunger. This would be a very nice find. Um, I can open this. How many small keys do I have? I have one. Last time I opened a door, or that I saved the key to open the door, I got destroyed by a rat lady. I'm using it here. Why do I hear heartbeat? Whee! Oh, I like it. I don't know if you noticed, but other times I went down the stairs, I got like... Sometimes I didn't get much far. But it seems like the more stairs there is, the more momentum I have... Uh, the more velocity I have. I'm not sure if this is a good idea, actually. Because what if I die? There is more stairs. Okay, this is just a kitchen. This must be the food storage of the old town. You know, the... Mayor is very particular with his food. Very deliberate. So maybe being here isn't a good idea at all. Considering I did that right in front of the butler, and we already know this game takes into account whether people say you do stuff or not. I like that now you have a new option to um, loot diagonally as well, so I can reach this uh, barrel. Why do I hear, like, heart beating? Is that just the ambience, or... Is there actually something down here beating? Maybe it's over here? There's some chains to the wall in the mayor's house. Not a good start. I think I see somebody walking. I thought for a... I, I saw legs. Maybe I didn't. A reinforced door stands before you. This door probably has a key. The mayor has some sort of a dark secret. Maybe I can find it. Whee! I don't know why, I just didn't expect to find something like this in the mayor's house. I'm gonna double check again just to see if there is no hidden key around here.
Oh, I got uh, two meat pies. That's nice. Um, Hermione's not doing very well. Oh, she has vodka. She's fine. She can just drink, drink vodka. She's so fine, actually. Ghana of the Depth heartbeat. Well, when I met Ghana the Depth, he didn't have a heartbeat. Did he? Uh, sorry, but there is like something in your basement. I, I will take care of it. Damn, I wish I had a partner so I could just bust down some doors. Every single time I see a door, I'm just mesmerized. I didn't even stay on the stair. Okay, maybe I was. Do I use the booby trap on the white priest? Is it even worth trying? Maybe it is, but... Mm. After I'm done with the mayor, because if I do it before, then he's gonna chase me right... Like, he's gonna wait outside of the mayor's office. Like, he's gonna stand right at the doorway and that's not gonna be good. Uh, what do so the first answer is embryos. Second answer is local sausage. Third is nudity. And fourth is I, I fight against the Burmans. And I already have the other key. I'm good. We're good. From afar, the statue looked convincing and nice, but for upon close expense, a closer look, it's pretty crude. Okay. Hmm. I kind of want to see what's behind the white priest. I'm pretty sure in one of these rooms there is uh, a bed that I could use. I don't think the booby trap will work. Hello, Zarko. Uh, I don't think the booby trap will do anything. Run for it? That's not gonna work. He's just gonna smile me manically. That worked. All right, I'm gonna take the ladder. The I my character is not taking the ladder. I'm clicking the Windows key. Okay. Well, I'm screwed, because he's waiting right on top of the ladder. My bad. Uh, my hand, instead of being on the Z key, was on the Windows key. Happens to the best of us. There is some armor! Hold, hold up. Turtleneck shirt? Get rid of that. Wear a leather armor. A simple blouse with a fancy color. Oh wait, that's the shirt. Simple armor made from hardened leather. Offers decent protection and it's not too heavy. Tails. What's a stealth aim? It's not a weapon, it's a helmet. A Burman style helmet made of steel feels uncomfortable but offers great protection. Protects against con 
concussion. Oh, I'm all decked out. Seven. I had 19 defense before, or 17. Yeah, I had 17 defense before, and now I have a lot. Hey, taking the risk to reach down here? A manor key? That's new. What's a, what's a manor? I haven't... I don't recall seeing a manor. Is that for deeper in the city? I have a map. Let's have a look at the map. Uh, where is this said map? Oh, in the books, probably. No, no map. I thought I had a map. No. Hmm. Well, pretty sure on the map there was uh, listed a manor. Or not pretty sure, but there was a bunch of places li listed. Manor could have been one of them. Not sure if I could reach it, but I could try. Knowing where it is would be a beginning. I would think it's somewhere along uh, the city. Like inside. Wait. Oh, it's for this manner. Oh. <gasps> the door in the basement! Alright. I can save here, but big ol' white priest is after me, so no. Probably would be a good idea to save though, but... Let's explore the whole manor before we go. I chose heads. Berman Elite Helmet, hello! It's a gladiator helmet. So this one offers five protection, right? The helmet clearly takes inspiration from ancient Lombardia, when f where fighters clad in armor would duel for people's entertainment. I started with uh, 17 armor. I have 29 armor. This does not protect from concussions, though. Or maybe it does. It doesn't say. Listen, I am in a wheelchair wearing a gladiator, gladiator helmet and leather armor. What would you do when you see that rolling up to you with a knife? Nothing. Because you're screwed. Oh, the pot is on top of a little stool. I cannot reach it. It's on top of a small tabletop. I'm actually not sure if this is such a good idea to do without um, saving, but I don't know. I feel like if I save here, I get chased by the white priest. Ah, what's the worst that could happen? Momentum. Hmm. My character is a little hungry. We should probably take care of that. My guess is uh, maybe there is a god down here. Force the door open. No, I have a key. What's the manor key for? A key found from the manor's mayor in Preval Old Town. The key looks pretty plain with some light scratches here and there. Oh, you have to be joking. God damn it, I was so excited to see what's inside the basement. 
That is not what I thought that's going to happen. Huh. I don't think there was a door up here either. Yeah, there was a bunch of supplies. Momentum. Hello, mustard pocket. All that hype for nothing, I know. It is my uh, blame for hyping you. Expect nothing and never be disappointed. Oh, I already looted this area. Is this man aware of my existence? Faintly. Oh wait, I thought there is a path through the clothes. Um, I mean, if you're gonna fight, we're fighting on my terms. That did a very small stun. Alright. Let's take out his arm. He's dead. He was uh, weak from the... You know what? Let's not take the chance here. He was weak from the trap. I see. Usually I'm not able to cut off his arm with one hit. The white priest is out here looking at me while I fight. That's it. It's much stronger than knife nice. See? This is what will happen to you, white priest, if you keep... Pursuing this strange thing you you have. Stop chasing me. We have the eagle brass key. And we have the lion brass key. We're gonna open the door. Hopefully the, the white priest isn't gonna watch over me as I sleep. And from there we actually make some progress. Now we're in the same part as I were with the soldier. But this time we have a lot more health. No one's dead. Uh, save. Uh. How I aid you in your quest? Uh, there is nothing much you can do for me, actually. White Priest is the creepiest dude so far? Oh, I'm not so sure about that. Have you seen the doctor? The needles? Or perhaps the rat lady? Actually, the rat lady isn't that bad. There was a little, like, a baby crawling towards me, though. Can I force this door open? Guess I'm not gonna be opening that door. Took care of the pig. Man, I, I did quite a bit with her. She's alright character. You know what? She's very alright. She might be physically weak, but she got way further than the uh, ex-soldier. And he's supposedly, you know, a weapons master. Oh. <laughs> I fell down the stairs with the chair. On the path, there was no chairs, uh, stairs, so I didn't think I'm gonna have to do that. Alright. Running away from the police is gonna be very awkward, isn't it? Because it's all stairs. We're gonna have to figure out how to deal with the police then. Alright. 
there might be some money in the register. Here's the thing, usually you would like attack the attack in hand, like the weapon. But the policeman has three weapons. And I think he grows them back, maybe. No? I don't know why. Uh, is it really such a good idea to like go for the weapons? Or maybe I should go for both legs and then the head. Maybe there is still a way to talk him out of it? I don't know, but I did save in a very convenient spot. We did get a lot done, so. Hmm. All right. Recruit God, maybe they have answers. Well, not straight answers. They're just gonna say some uh, stuff that I'm not gonna understand. Perhaps something in the books could help me. Recipes, well, I don't need to know how to cook right now. I'm good. New poems of love and torment. Does that do anything for me? The new poems of love and torment written by Rona Kambara. The book contains age-old writings of the famed poet Rona Kambara. This book concentrates on the latter half of his lifetime and production. Poem 1. The Blackened Heart. Stakes are high. You are also and more so. Live your lie and play with my blood torso. Who would believe all your tries to blacken my name, dead crow as a prize? They say that a tear only dries, so I want to see the day even Gorgoroth cries. They will come know this day as the cruel age. They will come know this page as the fourth phase. Won't you die? Very love, lovely poem. I see why they think of these as love poem. Love and torment. I guess they're very closely related. Um, Gorgoroth's uh, Bible is gonna help me. Gorgoroth, the destroyer of men who... He who ushers a new dawn with force and violence. Gorogoroth is the other part of the most primal duality creation and destruction, where the other doesn't exist without the other. The word destruction is often associated with the evil of the world. This is of course foolishness. There is no room for new creation if the slate is not the first burned clean and empty. A man fears destruction. Man gets accustomed to peace and quiet. Man grows fat and afraid of change. Change is inevitable, just as Gorogoroth. What one needs to understand is that the destruction is pure kind. It does not target one man specifically, it just exists. Gorogoroth is associated with the god of creation, Sylvian, and their child, the god of nature, Vinushka. Gorogoroth offers to mankind the blessing of blood magic. Constant sacrifices in his name will maintain their relationship. The mark of Gorogoroth raises the physical strength of its wearer. The text includes the sigil of Gorgoroth and the instructions on how to use it. Oh, I don't actually know it. Oh no! No, no! <laughs> okay, let's think of this logically. Maybe I can kill him. Uh, if I was the doctor, I could probably analyze some weakness with this dude. I think the only way we kill him is get rid of his, you know, needle hand. Is there any item that could help me in this situation? A dirty toilet paper. Ornament lantern. A simple lantern with ornament decoration can be used to throw at enemy for a small fire attack. I don't know if he will burn though. All right, let's play it my way. We're gonna guard. I'm poisoned.
I'm poisoned and I have an infection in my leg. None of them are critical. Oh wait, I'm poisoned, bleeding, and... Well, I can deal with all of them, actually. Oh, he tried to do, like, a special attack. Cut off his arm. It's not enough? Slowly I'm losing health here. I'm bleeding and I'm poisoned. He readies his syringe, so we're gonna block the next attack here. Oh, I don't know when, when he's gonna attack, though. He, he, he readied his syringe, but didn't do anything. I'm gonna attack the right arm again. I didn't rev up! No! Ah. Oh. If I guard, I'm probably gonna die here. Please, get rid of his hand! He has a gun! He had a gun this whole time! Are you kidding me? He's walking around with some sort of a medieval ass weapon of needles attached to a goddamn morning star of a whip. And he has a gun! Listen, you needles clown. I'm gonna kill you one day. Oh, I'm back to my wheelchair. You feel injection in your neck after being shot. <laughs> That's what I call a pro gamer move. God damn. Your hand hurts. Feels a little slow as it's recovering from paralysis. I'm gonna try and ankle break the spirit that comes, uh, you know, back into the bottle. Oh great, we don't even have to see it. That's alright by me. You had a massive party and passed out. Listen, he was not happy about losing his arm. Medics pack in heat. So how do I kill him? Assuming I can sustain my injuries. I could probably kill him by doing the same thing I did. I, I think maybe his legs have less HP. So maybe we just guard all the way until we got them win it. We use a double rev up attack on both legs. And then a double rev up attack on his head. Which would uh, kill him, I think. They had a gun this whole time. Are you kidding me? I swear. Seeing him shooting me and then like his stupid smiling face. Like, he knew this is funny to him. He knew this was the funniest shit he have ever seen in his own life. I'm positive you need to persist with the head. The head has a very small miss uh, A very small hit chance. So, doing that might work, but it might not, really. It's just luck. We need to hit, I think, the head twice. Hitting it once is great, but hitting it twice, there is no guarantee of that.
the barrel he's heavy bro wasn't even mad to lose an arm it was worth the comedic effect oh full on worth it this is something he'll remember forever remember that one time i let the chick think that she was gonna win and then i pulled out my gun and shot her point blank i love that the the skill's name was point blank it's a skill He literally made a new animation for it, just so you can see that he took out a gun to shoot you. Just shoot him, I'm sure you have a gun somewhere in that wheelchair. You think you need a gun to kill him? I'll throw the goddamn wheelchair at him. I don't need a wheelchair. Alright, let's get out of here. I wonder, once this happens once, does he still roam the streets? Frankly, a part of my pride, everything is alright. Apart from my pride. Because, yeah, I'm badly injured, and yeah, my mind is in the gutter because I am totally sad that I lost to a goddamn clown with needles that had a gun concealed this whole time. But again, I'm alright. I'll, I'll just, like, uh, cook some mixed herbs, and then I'll inhale them uh, by inhaling. I'll just uh, find the healing, the correct healing item, which is the last one. And then, you know what? I'll even craft another one. Because having that in battle would have changed everything. Uh, I'll, I'll craft two of those, even. I can craft poison. Now we're talking. I think it's poison. I need to craft it first to know what it is. But I assume it's poison. Can I talk to myself about this? No. Hmm. Well, that was definitely something. Wouldn't you agree? Hello, nerds of the moon. Uh, how do I get out of here again? Not this way. Do I need to go up? Yeah, I do need to go up the stairs. God damn it. My, old, my enemy. All right, going up the stairs. Oh wait, that's not stairs. Where am I to go? Oh, over the bridge. There is somebody here, I think. Not this guy, another guy. Yeah, got past him. Oh! Not even close. You're still here? What do we do now? We don't do anything. Is what we safe alone? Are you worried about me or yourself? After what I've seen, I'm worried about you. I've seen... I've seen everything. Hmm. Hello, gentlemen. Don't mind me just breaking into your home. This is a wheelchair lady. Fuck, I'm always show a plate. Much love. I'm going back to watch the whole thing. Oh, great. There is a link to the second channel. If anybody else missed it. If anybody else missed, the content will be uploaded on the second channel. Which there is a link in the chat if you're interested. And uh, may have to <laughs> remove a few things. Uh, but... Uh, yeah, it'll mostly... Oh my god, the white priest. I cannot catch a break. But yeah, it's definitely something to check out if you're interested. Why Risk doesn't use his hidden gun when someone removes his arm? Because it would be a bad joke. It would be a really, really bad joke. Because now I have no arm and I made fun of somebody, but he's dead. So he doesn't even feel humiliated. I feel humiliated because I'm still alive. 
in the game. Hello. I do not want to talk about it. <laughs> no, this is the second time it got me. No. All right, I need some wine after this. Let's go get some wine. Man, what a beautiful game. What a beautiful, beautiful game. I enjoy looking at every single scenery in this game. Oh, I can take more wine. Oh, with my mind, I, I need all the wine I can get. Uh, more wine. Tonight, it's on the house. You know? I was like, I'm better than the soldier. Here we are, in the same spot that he was, drinking wine, crying away our sorrows. By the way, there is stuff here. Drinking while driving? Fine! I won't use this wheelchair. This is what you want, huh? Oh, I already looted this. Yeah, even the diagonal uh, barrel is loaded. Oh, sure, I'm gonna lose to a door. What's the worst thing that can happen? Alright. There has to be a way to deal with the uh, police before I get uh, whatever that thing did. So first of all... No! This is not gonna help me. You hear her laughing? Oh yeah. Um, listen, if he comes again, he's dead. Okay, to the left there is stairs. This is not gonna work out. I can already tell you, I'm gonna be one side policeman, other side policeman. At least if I go from here, there is only policeman from one side. So you know what? I can tolerate it. I've been spotted. Oh my god, he's, uh, he's already... Sure. This is actually a little scary. Oh, this is not the most ideal situation for a person in a wheelchair. But you know what? Never give up. You will let me through in this city. A yellow vial. Can I craft explosives? That will solve a lot of my issues. Hmm. I do not think I know how to craft explosives. Hmm. Go! Crawl faster! See you later, nerd! <gasps> We meet again, yet again. Hmm. So what happened if I try and block a bullet with my hands? Nothing! He does nothing! You're going to die! Today! Hmm. 
You're only prolonging the inevitable. You are gonna die. Now this is funny. Isn't it just karma, huh? Alright. Let's kill you. Um, I'm gonna guard. Do you have any other attacks? Shit, he, he can tackle. Um, guard again. Man, this egg. Oh! I was knocked off of my wheelchair! Hey! Put back your wheelchair! Yeah, I got back to my wheelchair. I'm good. He's strong! gonna heal up hmm. okay he's dead he knocked me off on my chair again that's it I cannot attack yo what the heck Um, is this normal? He just gonna keep knocking me from a chair so I can't play? Uh, hello? Uh, can I play? Give me your head. Watch out for the policeman! I found some heroin, of course. I'm only gonna run away so I can come back and beat his body to death. I'm not petty. Oh, do I have to use a disgusting toilet paper? Do I have uh... Oh, I have a cloth fragment. I'm good, I'm good! No, he's guarding his body! You're robbing me of my happiness! Let me beat him! Yes! Yes! No! His body's gone! Who is that?! Are you kidding me? See you later! Okay, I did that on purpose because I wanted to see who that is. The death mask charges towards you. Did you see what happened to the clown? Yeah, you're about to get what he got. So let's see, he has two big arms, two legs, and if I get knocked off my chair, it is over. I'm on a guard. Do you, Royce? <laughs> I lost my arms! Bye! I cannot use a ladder because I do not have arms. Uh, this is quite a predicament. Oi vai voi. Seems like I reached a, a wall. This is a bad neighborhood. 
Maybe if I go the other way. Oh wait, did he cut off my legs as well? Oh wait, no, I I can't use the wheelchair at all. <laughs> well, that was my first attempt at fear and hunger.